In this video, we're going to look at some of the range of consumer units offered by British General. We're going to look at the shower consumer unit, a recessed consumer unit, and a fully loaded 10-way dual RCD board. All of the consumer units come in a lovely white finish, which is easily wiped down, and have a 10-year warranty. And I can tell you from removing this one from the box, this is one substantial consumer unit. What we're going to do is we're going to open it up and look at all the features in there that will make electricians' life easier. And we know how we like that at eFix. So I've been assured that this consumer unit only needs one type of screwdriver in order to make the connection. So therefore, I've got my slotted posi because I'm gonna need it for returning the torque settings of both my overcurrent protection devices and main switch. And I'm gonna use that to remove the lid. The screws themselves are captive, so I shouldn't lose those as I take that out of the way. And now we can take a closer look on what's going on inside the consumer unit. So let's first look at the two RCDs. They're both rated at 63 amp. They are both type A RCDs and are rated at 30 milliamps in order to offer additional protection. The board comes fully loaded with 10 breakers, all B type. It comes with 140, 432s, 216s and 36 amp breakers. Let's take a look at the neutral bars here. What I really like about all the screws in this consumer unit, they're all wound back. So whether it be the neutral bar, the earth bar, or the breakers themselves, they're all available to be put the conductor straight into it with no unwinding of those screws. We've got a three terminal neutral bar here in case you wanted to rearrange the board to have a high integrity circuit, maybe a steel or armored feed in another consumer unit. And another really nice touch is you've got seven neutral connections here and seven here, even though it's a five, five split, meaning that you could say potentially have seven circuits on one of your RCDs and three on the other or mix and match to suit. All of the terminals, whether they be for the neutral bars or the earth bars have a generous size hole. That hole is there in order that you can facilitate the cables, but also it says in the specification, allowing you to ferrule the ends as well. And you know how we like a ferrule at eFix. I like this as well. This area here has been purposely left with the main switch and breakers that way in order that if you brought a gland in the bottom or the side, you've got lots of room to swing around your meter towels and go into the top of the isolating switch itself. So look how much room we've got there. One of the things we often say in consumers, there's not enough room. And they've thought about it by moving the main switch and the breaker down in order to give us nice access round and into the top of the switch with our tails. Whilst we're talking about space, the gap between the DIN rail and the back of the consumer unit is huge. You can get your hand right behind there, meaning that we can feed our cables down and dress them behind there with no hassle. It's one of the often things said electricians say is there's never enough room. Well, we've got enough room that side and we've got enough room here behind the DIN rail itself. Here's something I'd like to see more of, and perhaps even Wonky Joe could appreciate this. We've actually got an inbuilt spirit level here. So obviously when you mount your consumer, you can be absolutely spot on level. So there you are, Joe. There's something there for you in this one as well. We've also got a fast release DIN rail with a fixing this side and this side that when you loosen it, again with our slotted posi, as all the screws are in the consumer unit, are all using the same screwdriver, we can easily shift it and take off the actual DIN rail section. So I think I've clearly demonstrated there that British General have put a lot of thought into this consumer unit to make it easier for the electrician to work within it. So let's go on and look at now the shower board. Okay, wonderful build quality again. Let's open it up. We've got exactly the same as before. The slotted posi screwdriver can undo the lid and all the screws in it. So lift it out of the way. And we've got a B 50 amp circuit breaker provided with the consumer unit. The RCD is rated at uh, 63 amps, 30 milliamps, and is an AC type. Just stop you there. Just remember that the shower itself is a resistive load and an AC RCD is totally acceptable. The screws within here, again, all use the same screwdriver. They've all backed out. So again, the earth bar and the neutral bar, the screws are backed out and they've got those really large holes that we saw before that we really like. And look how many earth terminals you get. You could put protective bonding conductors, the gas and water, the main earthing conductor and CPCs in there. They'll give you a lot of terminals once again. It's almost expected now, tons of room behind the actual DIN rail itself. And it uses the same type of fixings in order that it's quick release DIN rail. So, Great thinking yet again, and this time on the shower board. Let's move to the recess board next. So the build quality from British General continues on with this recess consumer unit. As I open it up, it's a 10-way, got a 100 amp main switch, probably giving you the ability to fit RCBOs within this type of consumer unit. However, we've already gone ahead and fitted a standard breaker and retrofitted a type two surge device, which I'll connect up later. 
Just to show you one thing here, on this one, this has been specified with the ability to lock it off, so you can fit a barrel lock. Maybe this is in a communal area and you want to control the amount of people that can get into there by having a locking device. So we'll fit that next. Straightforward, just pop out this clip here, like so, and then you fit your barrel device. So we come out with that. Just make sure that when you insert this, that you've got the nib pointing straight down and the raised edge at the very top. So that's quite important in order that you get it around the right way. So drop it into position like so. And it's just a simple case of a nut in order to tighten it off, followed by the mechanism itself. So that can go on and be tightened off. And then I've got the actual lever section. Tighten that one up, so there goes the actual bolt itself, and then we've got the ability to actually lock that off, like so. Okay, so that's nice and straightforward in order that you can secure the enclosure. So let's take the consumer unit cover off and look at all those key features now inside it. the door to one side not to scratch it so with a cover removed then okay you can see that we've got some fixing positions down either side so I haven't secured it into place so we take it out for a number of reasons so we can see what's going on you have to have a 68 mil depth so I'm using a hundred mil batten here and order to get it into position so 68 mil deep and we've got these lovely three sections at the top and one at the bottom that can be taken out and we won't need grommet strip because you've got these clever little plates that go in there to prevent the cables from chafing in those areas. I really like that. So we would fit it in like so and secure it in the positions required to hold it firmly into place. We've obviously got these uh, nice protections. We've got our bus bar as well. So let's put those to one side and take that off. So what I'm gonna do next is make these connections for this type two surge protection device. In order to do so, I'm gonna need the kit. So there's the kit already pre-wired pre to the appropriate length, so you can't make any errors. And we're gonna connect this up next. So I've wired the SPD up and I've positioned it to the side of the main switch. Often the SPDs are actually on the end of the consumer unit and you cut off the actual bus bar in that section. But we've come across here, so the bus bar would be fitted under here and we've kept the SPD this side of the main switch. Again, we'd like to know your feelings and thoughts on that, so remember to comment below. And what's nice about the kit is that it keeps the protective earth at under half a meter, so you haven't got to worry about making those calculations from the bottom of the SPD to the actual earth bar itself. So the likelihood is with this type of board with a main switch, you're gonna be fitting RCBOs. And in this board, this RCBO here is rated at 32 amps. It's a type B, it's 30 milliamps, and it's an A type RCBO. Also, again, just pointed out, they've got the little spirit level as they have in all of these boards in order that you can just get it on the wall spot on. So I'm very happy to say these BG consumer units are cram packed full of features that make electricians life easier. Whether it be the screws already being withdrawn, whether it be the amount of room to get your hand in, the position of the main switch so the tails can come round, or the clever little clip that works as a grommet strip when you take out those larger holes. However, as always, we're interested in your feedback, so please make sure you leave your comments below.